a full breakdown of everything that went on today between Alyssa Violet and Tana Mojo relating to Jason Nash. As we know, over the last few months, Jason Nash has been doing a lot of live streams and he's been copying a lot of flack for it. And Alyssa Violet will not survive how she has been exposed by Tana Mojo. Alyssa, 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 what are we going to do? You've caused us a big mess with your mean girl stew. Alternate line, I think that it's time to put down the cauldron and broom. <laughs> She's a witch. It seriously looks like Alyssa Violet's downward spiral continues to gain momentum as she faces another devastating blow to her already tarnished reputation because Tana just spilled all the tea that has totally worsened how people viewed her in their recent drama over Jason Nash and others. So bad that she turned off the comments on her posts because of the backlash she was and is still facing. Basically, Tanner exposed Alicia for having wanted to join OnlyFans and how she is the worst mean girl in LA, not forgetting how many influencers have reached out to her about how Alicia has been the worst person to ever be in their lives. Here's the thing as well, when all this started happening, I woke up to like 15 texts from influencers, people like with lots and lots of followers begging to come sit on this podcast and do a testimonial of a time that Alyssa Violet was horrible to them, okay? And I might do it for the Patreon. I might have a whole fucking episode where we circle people coming in and telling their stories. The amount of stories I've heard in the last week, it is a collective agreement that she is one of the meanest girls in LA. You now, for those who haven't been so up to date with the latest drama between Tana and Alyssa, in a brief, a few weeks back, Tana Mojo made several TikTok videos shaming Jason Nash a former vlog squad colleague and she was shaming him for how after the vlog squad stopped he has nowadays resorted to a tiktok career of begging he spends many hours on tiktok live asking for gifts from fans and like he said that is how he is making a living tana made this one tiktok saying that at least i'm not jason nash like and another one saying that listen to me wherever you are right now whatever is changing in your life sometimes i feel like in the world it feels like things aren't always present you know like things are always changing but just know this will help you sleep at night that wherever you are and whatever's changing jason nash is somewhere on live panhandling for money okay However, when she shamed him, Alyssa Violet quickly blasted her of how she is daring to shame him when all he's doing is be a hard-working father who is only working hard to feed his kids and put them in school. That's not all. She also blasted her for how she is mocking him when she is literally making money from OF herself, saying that Tana, I listen, I know your job and I know that like you're supposed to be like talking about drama all the time and that's literally your job on your podcast. But for coming to, to come for somebody that's literally just trying to make a simple living on like just going live on TikTok, try, TikTok trying to make ends meet. Like he's a middle aged man, like he has kids, he has to make money for his kids school, like all this stuff. Not everybody can post a butthole picture on on OnlyFans. Tana's bestie and cancelled co-host Brooks Caulfield also joined in on the drama supporting Tana, slamming Alyssa for how she's mad with Tana shaming Jason Nash for begging when she herself also is always blasting people on the internet. For instance, the drama that she started when she was selling a dress at Depop and ended up bringing up drama about a girl who wanted to steal her boyfriend. funny video which like okay i understand um but i'm wondering if everyone remembers a couple months ago when Alyssa violet went on depop depop i repeat depop to cause an online frenzy okay she would post items like she'd post like a dress okay and she'd be selling the dress and instead of um like writing a description of what the dress is actually like she would write 
about what happened in the dress. So in the most recent episode of Cancelled, Tana and Brooke addressed all this. And Tana opened with this hilarious poem for Alisa, and it's literally everything. So she said that... Alyssa, 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 what are we going to do? You've caused us a big mess with your mean girl stew. Alternate line. I think that it's time to put down the cauldron and broom. <laughs> She's a witch. All of this mess just so you can use David's pool. You came at me for shaming, but then said I sell my hole. <laughs> but if it weren't for Marshmallow, you'd be on a pole. Oh. Dying on a hill for Jason Nash. I suggest you shut your trap before you're both doing DoorDash. <laughs> <laughs> you are no you are no stranger to being rude to a waiter or going on a smear campaign. Remember when you used Depop to incite Paige Lorenz shame. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa, 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 you've caused a big mess. But I guess anything to sell that pink dress. After her poem, she went ahead and said that while she thinks that it is cruel to shame people who don't deserve it, she said that she will always shame people in the situation she finds it funny or what they're doing is funny. She said that she will always shame people in the situation she finds it funny or what they're doing is funny. Just like she found Jason Nash is begging funny. That's not all because she also said that for everything that Jason Nash has done for her during their days at a vlog squad, mocking him for begging for money is the least damaging thing she could have ever done because there are more and worse things she could have exposed him about. She said that for everything that Jason Nash has done, he is lucky that the main focus is his problem with pan panhandling for those cowboy hats. I went back the other day for the very first time and watched those videos of Jason and I when I have been 18 for a week and he's trying to kiss me. I will never forget being in that dressing room with Jason Nash and he's trying to kiss me and I'm like what the F has my life come to? She again came to the fact that he having treated her like that and then seeing him panhandling like this is just so hilarious to her. Anyways, after this, like I told you guys, people switched up so fast on Alicia, like this one person who commented on her post saying, I have a feeling that you and Jason Nash will be batting on TikTok lives in the next year. Anyways, enough with Jason Nash drama. Let's talk about how she exposed Alicia for having wanted to open an OF account because she was broke. She said that, do you know how many times I have with Alisa Violet and she's asked me if she could start an OnlyFans and if I could help her because she has her she has no effing money and then you're gonna come online and shame me she went on to say that Alisa is just mad because she wouldn't succeed in OnlyFans even if she started because she flopped after that she also exposed her for how several influencers asked her to come to their podcast to talk about the horrible experiences they have had with her. When all this started happening, I woke up to like 15 texts from influencers begging to come sit on this podcast and do a testimonial over time that Alisa Violet was horrible to them. This amount of stories I've had in the last week is a collective argument that she is one of the meanest girls in LA. Fans has always had something to say, where for instance, one slammed her for having blasted Tana for mocking Jason for begging, while she was also mocking her for having an OF. This person said that, so it's not okay to shame an old man begging on TikTok, but okay shaming a girl for having OF? Math is a mathing. Another person said that, I don't care for Tana, but that Alisa girl is awful. What a horrid person. And all it took was 15 seconds of her speaking. Well, the drama is so hot, y'all. And I want you to tell me what you think about everything that is going on right now in the comment section. And let's keep the conversation going. So that's it, guys. Let's meet here in my next video. Stay tuned.